Good morning, and welcome back to Proof of Work Coin News. This is your host, Coinology. We are trying to get to 500 subscribers. If you could hit subscribe, I would super appreciate it. We are a Proof of Work only show. We talk Proof of Work miners, coins. Let's jump into the crypto Proof of Work market. Currently, wow, Dynex is up 22.5%. Man, all of you believers out there, this is huge. Congratulations. Um, we also have Caspa up 7.8%, breaking those all-time highs. Um, right now, we do have Bitcoin just traveling sideways, so everything is moving down or slightly up. Not a lot of movement right now other than Dynex and Caspa. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk about some of my favorite um, cryptocurrency proof of work wallets. None of this is financial advice. This is just purely for entertainment purposes. Keep in mind, uh, these wallets more so pertain to the cryptocurrencies that I am mining. Um, this is just my opinion from years of cryptocurrency mining, and um, this has kind of led me down this path. So the first one up is going to be the Garda wallet. And I will go ahead and put all of the links to these wallets, uh, secure links, down in the description. That way you can go ahead and check them out yourself and decide if they're right for you. But yeah, the first one up is the Garda wallet. So the Garda wallet is kind of my all-around wallet. Um, it's one that will store just about every major cryptocurrency, you know, your Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Polkadot, Litecoin, uh, all of those coins. Now, I used to use... Um, when I first started uh, MetaMask and uh, for, for a number of cryptocurrencies because that back then we were mining Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. And with that, um, over time, obviously, we moved out of Ethereum, moved out of Ethereum Classic um, last bull run. And MetaMask went down this dark road where basically if you didn't update the wallet, then it was going to... Um, lock you out and eventually uh, just go ahead and close out your account and they would keep your cryptocurrency. I am so against what MetaMask is doing uh, with these updates. I mean, it's crazy to me that you, you just can't take people's cryptocurrency because they don't have the time to update their wallet all the time. Um, that, that, in my opinion, doesn't make it secure. But back to the Garda wallet. This is your mainstream cryptocurrency wallet. If it's a small cap coin or a newer coin, you're gonna have to go ahead and find a uh, wallet specifically for that cryptocurrency. Um, but this is a great wallet all around. Um, right now I'm using it to, sto to store all of my uh, Dogecoin. And um, this wallet does have a couple of features. So um, obviously it is a uh, an app-based wallet, but you can actually go ahead and add a debit card to your wallet and use your cryptocurrency that is in your wallet so like if i wanted to pay in dogecoin uh, i could order this card and go ahead and do that so i think that's pretty cool they also uh, have actually uh, apple pay which i think is also really cool um, you can buy cryptocurrencies within this wallet as well um, if you are into staking which i am not um, as i'm not into very many proof of well i'm not into any proof of stake coins um, then you have this option to go ahead and stake. I think that's pretty cool. Um, you can also exchange cryptocurrencies. So some cool features with the Garda wallet. Um, I have not seen anything as far as hacks uh, on the Garda wallet. Um, so I, I, I think, I assume, um, just, just my opinion that this wallet is pretty secure. Now, moving over to my next wallet, uh, the Zellcore wallet. And if you have had anything to do with Flux, then, then you definitely know the Zellcore wallet. Now, the Zellcore wallet is able to hold some of those lower cap coins, um, and I've been holding Zelcor, or excuse me, I've been holding um, Caspa in Zelcor uh, for quite a while now, um, and I really like it because it's easy to access. Um, I can make multiple accounts very easy to kind of uh, distribute my cryptocurrency. That way, I'm not holding it all in one wallet. If one wallet gets hacked, it's all gone. 
Um, so I'm able to make multiple wallets very easily. I do appreciate that. Um, the one uh, negative about this wallet is that it does not have um, any sort of uh, keys as far as the actual wallet goes when you log in. Um, so it makes it a little bit more susceptible to a hack. Now, keep in mind, Zelcore did add an option for 2FA authentication, which I highly recommend you use. Now, as far as the Zelcore, it's a typical username, password, just like your regular bank account. You know, if you were to go through Chase or you were to go through um, like Bank of America or Washington Mutual or something like that, um, you are going to have uh, just a regular username and password. That's how this wallet works. But with the added 2FA uh, authentication, I really do appreciate that. Um, it just kind of steps up the security, makes it a little bit harder to get into that wallet. Like I said, I am storing all of my Caspa on this wallet. And once uh, Flux Proof of Useful Work comes out and I build a rig for that, I do plan on using uh, Flux uh, in another Zelcore wallet, not putting my cryptocurrencies together, but easily making another wallet and adding my Flux to it once that happens. Um, and then moving over to the last wallet, um, it is the Koala wallet. So the Koala wallet is for KDA um, as well as KDA uh, types of coins or KDA chain coins. Um, so this wallet is really wonderful because it does have, um, it does actually have some keys. Um, it's, I have not heard of any hacks or anything like that. Um, it works well for KDA. I feel like it's solidly secure. Um, so this is a great wallet if you are mining KDA. Obviously, these these wallets pertain to the cryptocurrencies that I am currently mining, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let me know what you think about these wallets, and also, do you have any favorite wallets? And currently, I am not utilizing any hardware wallets because I do not trust the direction that they are going in. I would rather just have multiple web-based wallets and... Um, run the table that way. Uh, but let me know what you think about the wallets that you're using. Tell me what you're using. Tell me why you like them. Um, I always enjoy people's opinion on this as obviously wallets are a huge part of cryptocurrency mining and cryptocurrency holding. Let's talk about minor profitability. So currently in the lead, we do have the 4090 on Dynex doing a dollar fifteen a day and fifty eight cents after profit. Now with uh, most the GPU market we have Dynex pumping to almost 22% so most cards are going to be most profitable on Dynex now my question is how profitable has Dynex made us today and let's see here so right now we are currently profitable to about 15 almost 15 cents like 14 and a half cents for most the GPU market so if you're under uh, 14 cents, 14 and a half cents, and you have GPUs, I would take a look at mining Dynex. Um, now, this is not financial advice, but Dynex is looking better and better every single day and has been on an absolute tear. Could be a good time to go ahead and start building some bags. I know I am considering it. Uh, I was waiting more so till Flux came out with their proof of useful work to go, kind of go ahead and test between both networks. Um, but this is looking really good. So if you have some GPUs, you might want to go ahead and turn them on. Um, after the 4090, we have the 6800 XT on Dynex doing 74 cents revenue, 49 cents profit. After that, we have the 6900 XT on Dynex doing 76 cents revenue, 47 cents profit. Below that, we have the RTX 4080 on Dynex doing 85 cents revenue, 45 cents profit. Below that, we have the 6800 on Dynex doing 67 cents revenue, 39 cents profit. Moving over to ASIC miners, um, I feel like recently that mine ASIC hasn't given the full story as far as profitability, specifically with things like NiceApp. 
Um, and I really do appreciate what to mine in the fact that it does give you a couple of different uh, options as far as uh, what your minor profitability is. Now, I know it's not always perfect, and I know that they're missing algorithms at times, uh, but I just kind of like this layout better, and I feel like it gives the full picture on miners, uh, specifically things like uh, script mining. It actually shows you, you know, what the merge mining is going to look like rather than just the uh, Litecoin profits or just the Dogecoin profits. This kind of gives you the full picture. So let's take a look at what to mine as far as our ASIC miners. So we have the Jazz Miner X16-P in the lead on this, uh, doing $24 a day on ET hash and $19.50 after power. Below that we have the Ant Miner D9, uh, which has also been on a tear for on X11 on Nice Hash, doing $17 a day and $10.21 after power. We have the Bitmain Ant Miner L7 on script. Obviously, the profits have been cut down just a little bit, about 25%, and uh, it's doing $16 a day, $7.80 after power. We have the iPol iPolo V1 on ET hash doing $14.93 a day, 749 after power. Uh, we also have the X16 Q Jazz Miner on ET hash doing $8 a day and 660 after power. We have the iPolo G1 on Grin uh, doing $12.76 a day and $6 after power. Uh, this is actually on Nice Hash. Um, we have the Microbits What's Miner M56 Hydro on SHA-256 Nice Hash, doing $13.78 a day and $5.84 a day. Moving down, we have the Ant Miner K7 on Eagle Song uh, CKB, doing $12.95 a day, $5.55 after power. Uh, moving down, we have the Ant Miner D7 on X11 doing $12.39 a day and $4.83 after power. Uh, below that, we have the Z15 uh, Pro on Equihash, most profitable on uh, its ARRR. Uh, it's an Equihash algorithm doing $9.90 a day, $3.75 after power. Below that, we have the Antminer KA3 on Kadena doing $11.09 a day and $3.50 after power. If you went ahead and stuck around to the very end, thank you very much. I super appreciate it. Please help me hit my goal of 500 subscribers. That would be amazing. If you have any feedback, uh, if you have any ideas for something you want me to talk about in the future, if you have any questions about proof of work miners or proof of work coins, put it down in the comment section below. This is meant to be a community uh, discussion. Thank you very much, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow.